안녕하세요 민배씨 싱가포르 남재입니다 안녕하세요 여러분들 네, 안녕하세요 여러분들 여기서 터키의 아름다운 버스버스를 했는데요 한번 보세요 아름답죠 제가 터키 생활 뭐 이제 막 거의 1년 7개월이 됐는데 1년 7개월이 되었는데 이제 또 거의 막 떠나 때가 다될것 같습니다 그래서 오늘은 어, 지난 1년 7개월 터키 어, 생활은 어떤지 한번 이야기하도록 하겠습니다 자, So guys here I am at the beautiful beautiful Bosphorus Straits once again and yeah how time flies I've been here for almost one year and seven months and uh, it's time to go so are we just running through with you guys uh, how my experience of Turkey especially Istanbul uh, has been over the past one year and seven months let's go this is definitely my number one most favorite place in like the whole of Turkey ever by the Bosphorus Straits but of course I've never been to many places here in Turkey though um, I'm not a traveler a lot of people think I travel a lot but actually I don't travel at all I settle down and I kind of like it becomes my neighborhood and I don't really go around a lot that's the Hagia Sophia over there and over the past one year and seven months I've never even been there once <laughs> That's the Asian side of Istanbul. Uh, I live in the European side. But even that side of Istanbul, I've never even been there. <laughs> Econo economic hard hardship or not, people here really take time to enjoy and have fun always. Amongst Turkish people are amongst the really the happiest people that I've ever experienced in the world. Anywhere. In a quick nutshell, I can say this: like um, even after one and a half years, almost after almost two years uh, here in living in Istanbul, I still say that this is my most favorite city in the world ever, and it's very hard for me to say this. Especially after having lived in a place in a country for almost almost two years, I always be I'm always able to pick up some for some kind of uh, flaws, you know. But Turkey, uh, Istanbul, at least this part of Istanbul to me is still the best place I've ever lived in. Why? For those of you who have been following my live streams over the past, especially one year, yeah, you know that you know uh, I really like this place because of five main reasons. Number one four seasons I just don't live in anywhere without four seasons and a lot of people may think that this is some Middle East desert no this is a country with four clear seasons okay so I can join Om Chong Chong Hwa Khe number two okay that's number one number two it's big and interesting this is a huge country you never run out of things to see and experience most importantly you don't feel like you're boxed in you don't feel claustrophobic uh, in this country number three uh, for at least for us making US dollars is actually really really cheap but most importantly it's really cheap but number four first world safe and clean like people here walk in the middle of the night girls dress however scanty they like and they walk alone at night with no fear at all it's such a see cheap countries that cheap places I've ever experienced are rarely um, are rarely safe and cheap and safe and cheap place are rarely cheap, uh, <laughs> safe and clean place are rarely cheap yeah of course there are some places where it's unsafe unclean and still super expensive can you guys guess what that, where that is <laughs> well, anyways and then number five is most importantly like I just said the people here are so happy happy people I don't see happy people in any of the places I've ever lived in to be honest at the places I've ever lived in uh, they all look stressed angry but people and they they look like they're always in a hurry they look like they're 
you may say that that's because I live in the big cities. Well, this is the biggest city here in Istanbul, in Turkey, yeah? and people here are always smiling. You see, look at that. People are always smiling, always taking time to have a have a tea. Even right now, in in this in this economic hardship of seventy eight percent inflation, seventy eight percent. You know, in other countries, ten plus percent inflation, you get people rioting all over the streets. Seventy eight percent inflation, people are dancing, taking time slow. Enjoying tea, always walking with a smile on the face. I love this positive energy here. You know, I've been through a lot here in Istanbul over the past one as one years and seven months. A lot. I've been through a lot. Not all positive. I've been through some very negative things. I, I walked. I, I, I came here with a perfect body and walking away with broken shoulders. Um, I've been through nasty people. I met nasty people here. Very nasty people. I am not gonna pretend that these people do not exist. But I'm saying overall, it's still better than everywhere else that have ever lived in. In some places, the kind of nasty, nasty people I met is like way nastier than than the, the nastiest here, to be honest. And for the first year of my life here in Turkey, I lived here in the glamorous shopping district of Nishantashi, Istanbul. Where for about five to uh, for about six months of my life, I was training full time as a jujitsu fighter in one of the major uh, martial gym here in Nishantashi. <laughs> So unfortunately I got injured and I could no longer train and I really wanted to be to be shooting for a world champion in my age category because my age category is pretty oldish and I think I'm in very good condition for my age to fight for world championship but too bad that didn't happen so yeah move on and moving on from that I started my daily live streaming which a lot of people rediscovered me from and this Starbucks here in Nish in this uh, city's Nisantashi, the major shopping mall here, this is one of the places I actually live stream a lot from. And this park here, it's one of my favorite corners to live stream from and really just to hang out and have a coffee when I was living here in Nisantashi, if you guys uh, remember from the live streams. <laughs> And then, after one year of living in the upclass neighborhood in Nishantashi, I moved here to the young and vibrant Besiktas area, to where I spent the remaining of my life here in Turkey and continued my daily live stream to 175 episodes. The Besiktas area is really completely different from the Nishantashi area. This is a place where the hippiest pubs, clubs, and uh, you know. Basically, an entire area that really reminds me of uh, like Hongdae in Seoul. Uh, it's a lot of up-class cafes, uh, pubs and stuff that you don't really see in Nishantishi area and I suspect you don't see a lot in other parts of Turkey as well. And for the final two months of my life here in Turkey and no less significant is all about this place, Pegasus, oh Yunchak, Pegasus toys and all these fabulous, fun, crazy young people here. What if you guys have been following me on my Instagram know what I've been doing here, yeah? Warhammer, war gaming and uh, Magic the Gathering <laughs> gaming like every single day for two months. Man uh, yeah, this is the inside the shop, it's still early, nobody what a bad hair day today. Oh so bad hair day. And Really, this is the place where, even though it's just two months, this is where I met the most number of friends like ever in the whole of two years, almost two years in Turkey, this is where I met the most friends. And this is where, honestly, I had the most fun. <laughs> if you guys have been following me, it reconnected me with my very, very old hobby of uh, Warhammer and Magic, which I used to do about 25 years ago. And so in the fin my final two months here in Turkey, I pretty much stayed out here almost every single day. <laughs> And this has been what my final two months here in Turkey has been all about. My Warhammer 40k Black Templars army which I put together all here in Turkey and painted all on my own. I know you told your friend you're not okay And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way And guess 
you try to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away. But I've known you too. And so here I am, all checked in in the new Istanbul International IGA Airport. And yeah, well, t almost two years here in Istanbul, actually one year and eight months. Um, I still think Istanbul is the best city that I've ever lived in. And I'm very grateful for all the wonderful people that I've met in this almost two years journey here in Istanbul. A uh, big shout out to uh, Pegasus Oyunchat where I spent my last two months really, really, really happy. Met so many wonderful friends. And uh, thanks Turkey for having me. And uh, yeah, this is going to Chincha Komau Naraya. This is a country that I'll always be grateful and thankful for. Yes, I met nasty people as well, but doesn't doesn't change the fact that it's still my best and made most favorite country so far. So thank you, thank you very much from the bottom of my heart, Turkey. And chok te shukur lao sao, kolai galson, haidi gurushurush, annyeong.